Glorious Day to Game or Talk About Teenage A. I am your host, it's Flo, and I read to you Tales of Chivalry, the Kingdom of Equitains, background supplement about knights, peasants, fey, and all what is worth fighting for and honor. To you, knights, my son, by the time you read this, you will be a nut. Your days as a squire at Lord Crispin's court are over. You are to return home with all haste and take up my duties as acting lord over of our demesne while I'm away on crusade. Abrupt and unceremonious end to your squire dome, to be sure. Usually, one earns one's knighthood through worthy deeds, but sometimes necessity is our master. I'm certain your future will contain enough worthy deeds for a hundred nights. In the meantime, I trust his grace and should he underwent the traditional rites, the sacred oaths, the night vigil, and the last strike. Let this be the last time any man strikes you without consequence, for a knight suffers no dishonor. I suspect you are disappointed at having such a pivotal event in your life conducted hastily in a small sanctuary before you are unceremoniously sent on your way. When I return, I shall tell you more of my ascent to knighthood. I was raised to the title on a cold winter night in a muddy field, surrounded on all sides by Asklender marauders. Most of the squires raised alongside me had met their end before the sun had set on the following day. The honor of knighthood was won for which they were glad to lay down their lives. They received no praise nor lavish feet for their deeds. In many ways they were truer knights than many who bear the title today. Remember, since that a knight is not made by the opinions of others, but by his heart and his deeds. A man who craves glory and adulation without accomplishments to his name is no knight, but a vain glorious fool. In time you will receive the honors you deserve, but first you must be tested. Reflect on the oaths you swore in the months to come. To act in accordance with the sacred virtues of the faith. Strive to live by the knight's code. Many can name the seven principles. Excellence, forbearance, generosity, justice, valor, honor, and faith. Yet, as you likely know, there are many such lists, and the true qualities of knighthood cannot be so easily prescribed. Through a lifetime of ordeal and reflection, I have come to understand the knight's basis. Always speak the truth, for a life built on lies can only lead to ruin. Treat your fellows and the world with kindness and compassion. As befits a knight, and you will win their respect and love. Be a shield to those who cannot defend themselves. This above all, be true to yourself, for you cannot some be fails to other men. To be courageous is to be strong, but true courage requires more strength of arms. Find the inner strength to uphold your convictions and the will to withstand the tribulations of a life on the night's path. Oppose evildoers wherever you find them. Do not idly seek out quarrels, but should you find yourself in one, ensure those opposed to you be aware. Be the sort of righteousness that falls only on those deserving the wrath of justice. Shy not from ordeal, display valor and mercy in war and, and magnanimity in peace, and always uphold the faith. Defend our land and our people, even unto death. Should you falter on the path, seek redemption through good works and prayers. The balance between our duties as a lord and your knightly oaths is amongst the greatest challenges you will face in this life. No one possesses the qualities to fully succeed in such an endeavor. You will struggle and you will fail. And this is what makes us worthy. Redeem yourself in the eyes of the lady and become more than you were through your order. Some are crushed by defeat, while others are made small by victory. Greatness lives in those who can travel both roads with grace. The balancing act between your duties as a lord and the knightly principles is one of the hardest tests you will face in this life. One day you may face a choice where you will have to discard a knight's honor for the general good of the realm. Have a care that you do not stray too far down this path of expediency before 
for order as many false knights have none. Protect and guide your sisters. Ensure the youngest are diligent in their studies. Venelia is as serious and headstrong as ever. She will test your patience and sub her nose at your newfound authority. Do not let her undermine you in your duties as lord, but do not judge her too harshly. Remember that the bonds of blood are sacrosanct and family is all. I pray my letter to her will spare you the worst of her wrath. The border of Breval may petition you for rights to cultivate our northern territories, hoping to take advantage of my absence. Category refuse all such requests. The forests and lakes near the Perilous Vale are holy places, no less so than any sanctuary. Despoiling these sacred lands would be a grievous sin and would invite ruin for the selfish gain of the few. A, ded a dedicated truce exists with the Mercurial woodland fee who calls us groves home. Do not underestimate their capriciousness. I will write more on this when I find the time. By the lady's grace, I give you my blessing. May we meet again after this war. May we both be strengthened by our ordeals in the months to come. Your father, Lord Perlas, Giant Spain, Warden of the Lakes. Letter discovered among the affairs of Lord Gawain, Warden of the Lakes, upon his death at the age of 97. If you don't want to wait till I continue reading tomorrow, just go to the 9thage.com. Click on downloads, fantasy battles, scroll down to art and background, and here you have it. Click on it and download it as a free PDF. The Ninth Age project offers PDFs of everything it releases and does for free. Printed stuff is sold by supporting companies like Free and Grass Consulting. Like me. The printed uh, version of what I just read to you, you get on your local Amazon site. You type in the Nance H. Press enter, and then you get a list of books. Yeah, the most up to date stuff, of course, has the year in which you are in here. And it's part of a series, as of the rules, or of the background books, or the alternate games. <coughs> and author usually is by the Ninth Age team, or Mr. Selig. So yeah, this one is outdated. Uh, but thank you to for Kevin Kruger to be the first to make the books available. And yeah, this one is not from us, despite being part of a theory, but not an age of theory. And this one either. This neither. So, grab your copy and be happy. Bye!